If you don't know, those are angel numbers. If you don't know what angel numbers, angel numbers are basically signs um, that have some kind of meaning. If you also don't know, humans didn't create numbers. We discovered numbers, meaning numbers were here long before we were here. Also meaning numbers probably have meanings we don't even understand. So they say, quote unquote, when you see the same number three times in a row, it's some kind of sign showing you some kind of sign or something like that. But here's Park Yoshin Breath. Also, if you guys want to be able to request future videos, definitely become Patreon. The link is up there. It means you get to request a certain amount of videos every single month that definitely get reacted to. So definitely go check that out and I'll see you guys over there. Linton Wilson presents to you another banger. <laughs> I just wanna I kind of love where it's starting in a very you know torn down area I'm not really sure where this is the breath that I will take today bro when I tell you his voice like it resonates in the back of your ear it resonates so beautifully Mm. He's one of those voices I can listen to for a long time. Like while studying, definitely. The dreams that I dreamed last night. That I left on the bottom of my bed. The dreams that I left on my bed covers my exhausted hearts. As I close my eyes, it's all right. Oh, oh my God! He's already spitting bars. It makes sense. So let me explain this to you. His days are usually long. His days are usually very exhausting. And that's understandable when you're at the level of success that you are. Your days definitely get exhausted when you got to go interviews, blah, 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 bunch of shit like that. But his bed is his safe haven, right? When he goes to bed, he gets to dream whatever kind of dreams he wants. Those dreams don't have to be his reality. His dreams could be anything, anywhere, at any time. Therefore, his dreams protect him from that exhaustion that his heart feels. Because your heart and your mind feel completely different. If your heart says one thing, your mind may say another thing. If your mind says one thing, your heart may say another thing. That's the human body. Your heart, your mind, they disassociate from each other. They're not the same thing. So when your heart freaking hurts, your mind cannot help your heart from stop hurting. Your heart's going to keep hurting until it wants to stop hurting. But the thing about dreams, dreams utilize your subconscious mind. And the subconscious mind and the conscious mind are two separate things. So when you're using your subconscious mind, it has the ability to affect the way your heart feels because it's not the conscious mind. I love when people talk about stuff like this because it's such an interesting topic. But he's basically saying his dreams protect him from the exhaustion he feels day to day. It's so interesting how he gets his point across with such little words. Okay. Ah. When morning comes again and I open my eyes, I want to smile because whatever it is he dreamt put him in a better mood. I like that. Okay. If I can hope for things I want, if I cannot be afraid just like you. Is he idolizing somebody in his dream? Is there somebody in his dream that helps him seek being a better person? I'm, I'm not really sure about that. That's an interesting thing that he's saying. Though. If I can hope for things I can't. If I cannot be afraid just like you. Wow. I love the natural wrath that he has in his voice. My small heart that hasn't fallen asleep breathes. My small heart that hasn't fallen. Okay. Okay. His heart, very small boy. His heart doesn't fall asleep because his heart is always feeling. You know how I told you about your heart is a different entity from its mind. If your heart's always feeling, your heart's always moving, your heart doesn't rest because your heart controls the body, blah, blah, blah. Your heart has its feelings. His heart's never, never 
you know, stopping. But it breathes. Is that him trying to symbolize it gets a sort of peace of mind while he's dreaming? Because most people would say they have a big heart, right? But he said he has a small heart. Maybe he's been hurt in the past. Oh, that's a beautiful chord. Oh, bro, if you're if you're a pianist and you don't be playing like if you don't if, you, if you're not playing like this, like what are you what are you doing? If you're not feeling the music like that, the music ain't feeling you. Rain falls on the strengthlessly stopped world. Rain falls on the strengthlessly stopped world. So today grows again. Ooh. I love this scene right here. The light is the light is suddenly shining over the piano. It's giving it that backlighting, which is making the piano from the front seem very dark, and it's giving his hair that really nice glow. It's just an aesthetic scene, and it's a very nice thing when added into cinematics. I love when directors do this because it just just looks nice, in my opinion. <laughs> Oh. Ah. Yo. I love this part. Oh my god. Effortlessly, he's singing like, oh my god, I can't. Ah, this doesn't make sense. He's such a beautiful singer. He's such a beautiful singer. He has such control over his voice. He has such control over that nas natural rasp he has. It's so beautiful. I want to hear some falsettos from him. I want to hear some falsettos. Oh my god. When old tears that I thought dried up flow again. Oh, that's sad. My small heart that hasn't fallen asleep breathes. And then he comes back to that, wraps around. This is gold. My lonely day breathes. Therefore, you feel only safe in your dreams. Yo, if I start crying right now, you know why. <laughs> you know why. You can hear how that changed my mood just in my voice. When the piano built up nearing the end, just before it reached the climax of the song, and how hard he was, you know, hitting those keys and the way he was in sync with the vocals, it was it was so beautiful. You know, it was it was such it was such a beautiful thing to listen to. It's like it triggered something in your brain, like released a chemical or something, and it's like, bitch, you gonna cry today. But I didn't cry, and it, it still made me feel a really, really deep sense, you know, of sorrow and pain. And you know, I, I felt his pain. Park Hyo Shin breath. Park Hyo Shin is such an amazing vocalist, and nobody can can deny that. Like just even as a solo artist himself, he's just such a beautiful artist. I think I listened to Wildflower. Wildflower was the last one I listened to, but goddamn. <laughs> um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys want to request the next video, you can either leave them in the comment section. But if you definitely want those videos checked out, definitely become a Patreon. The link is up there or the link is in the description. Whatever you want to use, click one of them. Um, but goddamn, Park Hill Shin Breath, my guy. You got me fucked up. <laughs> anyways, thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Yoshi, Yoshi is so low key. I don't hear much about Yoshi.
you watch him, Sam. Like, I don't feel much about him. He's so low key. He's like the. If you guys watch Naruto, do you, you remember the bug guy? Is that like the bug guy? Okay, his shirt like all the way. He's like super low key. That's what you wish. I'll put a picture up of you. Yeah.